What you guys got another video here for you. In this one we're going to be taking a look at Windows 10 PE. Now you can create your own Windows 10 PE. Now when I showed people the Windows 10 PE that you can download uh, for free, then people were saying how do you create your own? So I thought I'd make a quick video to show you how you can create your own Windows 10 PE. Now this process has been simplified a lot over the years. Now the previous so that like Windows 7 was much more difficult and much more uh, commands that you had to do. Now it's made so simple it's basically two commands and you can create your own uh, Windows 10 PE. Obviously you will have to customize it and add in all your bits and pieces that you want to do but if you follow these steps you will have a Windows 10 PE of your own. Okay so now we can install our Windows Assessment Deployment Kit and uh, you can see we're installing the Windows Assessment Deployment Kit Windows 10 to this computer which is a Windows 10 computer it's going into this path here and we're going to push next uh, participate applies to all Windows kits installed on this computer we can just leave that as is go next and accept this uh, license agreement there now the deployment tools is what you need uh, to have uh, ticked here we want to make sure they're ticked and uh, pretty much I'm going to leave that as is. I'm going to install this and say yes to the user account control. Let that install now. It's going to update the settings and start to install this onto our system. So this is just going to require the Windows pre installation environment, Windows PE. This will take a bit of time, so just let it do its thing and we'll come back when this part is completed. Okay, so that's now installed. As you can see, we can now click on close. Okay, so what we want to do here now is come down to the start button. Go down to all apps. Then we want to go up to where it says recently added. Click expand. Right click on the deployment and image tools environment go to more and run as administrator say yes to the user account control and this will open up add deployment and image in tools environment as administrator from here we can now type in our command so now we want to do our command it's copy PE space AMD 64 this is going to do the 64-bit version if you want to do a 32-bit version you do times 86 and then we want to do space C colon backslash and now we need to do a folder which it's going to create which is going to be called WinPE x64 just like so push enter and this will then create all that content in that folder and you can see it's just successfully copied all that so if I quickly just show you that location here go to this PC and in your C root directory you'll see there's a folder inside here and this is all the stuff it's copied across so now we've got that done what we can do here next is do our next command which is called make win PE and in media all one word we're going to do space forward slash ISO space C colon backslash and then we want to put in our directory like so win PE x64 and then space again C colon backslash and then we want to do the win PE x64 and then backslash and then we're going to do uh, win pe 10 dot iso and that's going to create our iso push enter and that will now create our iso as you can see there And that's pretty much it. That's how quick and easy it is nowadays on Windows 10. So we'll look at File Explorer here. Go back to this PC in your C root directory and you will see the directory that we created. Inside here, you can now see it's now created 
our ISO image. And there you have it. Now you would have to customize this and create everything that you want to create inside here. You can do that, but that's basically how you can create a Windows 10 uh, PE disk or ISO, and you can then burn this to uh, a CD or USB flash drive. Now if you need to see more videos on that, you can do. I can make more videos, but basically that's how you can do that. If you wanted to burn that to a CD, you can do so by going to this PC, C root directory, and then your directory, right click on that, and you can see burn disk to image. You can do that as well. And all that means basically you just click on this and you would then select your burner and verify the disk after burning and burn that to a disk. If you wanted to make a bootable USB flash drive, uh, you can do also do that as well. And you can see some of the videos on how to do that. Anyway, this was just a quick video, so I hope you enjoyed it. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, guys, then hit the like button. Also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when I upload new videos. Also, if you've got any problems with computers or any video requests, you can head over to the forums and post up over there. And if you haven't, if you haven't joined my Facebook fan page, then you can pop over there and give us a little like up over there. Anyway, have a great weekend, guys, and I shall see you again in the next video. Bye for now.